Yo, hi everyone and welcome. I am super excited to share with you this super cool tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this zipper animation inside of Cinema 4D and how to use it with cloth dynamic. If you guys ready, let's hop inside of Cinema 4D and let's get started. All right, I am in Cinema, so let's get started. And first of all, I wanna make this teeth or a metal chain that will stick together. And to do that, I will create new cube. Let's make it two by two by two. And I need to increase uh, X size, maybe four, for example, like so, looks nice. And let's put it inside of the cloner, then switch type to linear. And here we need to set amount, let's make uh, 60. Y distance, uh, let's make it two. The same as our height like so and also i need to duplicate this cube one more time and this one i will uncheck i will show you why i'm doing this way okay so we have one strip uh, then i need to create one more cube that will hold everything together two by two by two and let's increase height something like this when you do this by yourself try to be more precise while I'm making tutorial, I will be more inaccurate. Let's make four, for example, like this. And everything looks nice. All right, so let's rename this one as holder, like so. And what else? I need to add more subdivisions in height, definitely. And it's gonna be 60. So the same amount as we have in our teeth. Then I'm going to add here uh, bend deformer. I press shift key and hit bend deformer. And now I can bend everything here. But the problem, it interacts only with this holder. And to fix this, I will select everything and make Alt G to group. And let's call this group A, for example, like this. And now I will move this bend deformer uh, on top of this hierarchy like this, and everything is bending. One thing we need to uh, check here is keep length. I don't wanna change length of this uh, object. Let's bend everything 95 degrees like so, and let's make it smaller on the Y axis. For example, like this. And now we have this nice animation that will uh, interact with cloth. Right now, let's create new plane. Let's make minus Z axis. And let's make it 100 by 100. Let's place it somewhere here like this. Let's make it bigger. For example, like so. And we can make it longer. For example, like this. And make sure it a bit closer to the edges okay this looks pretty nice and next thing i want to do here is add more subdivisions let's add 150 and 180 it's enough for now we can increase or decrease this amount if we need so and for this plane let's make right click simulation cloth then uh, i'm going to holder right click simulation cloth and we are going to mix animation and with pins like so and next thing with this plane we need to right click and simulation connector like so and also let's hit live update to see what's going on here and we can increase the radius for example like this and now everything that close to this holder will stitch to this um, geometry like so and let's hit play and nothing really happens because uh, in my project settings uh, in simulation I remove all the gravity from my scene because I like to control it by myself and then let's go to simulate forces and let's add turbulence let's increase scale to 25 and hit play Alright, everything looks 
cool and everything attached to this uh, holder right this is exactly what we want to have uh, then I select this plane go to cloth and let's disable cloth for now and let's animate this uh, band deformer we need to go to coordinate and animate y-axis let's go 100 frames let's move it down for example like this and on 200 frame let's move it up like so now we can uh, enable our cloth and hit play and as you can see everything is following pretty nice but we have this unnecessary wrapping of the object let's avoid this and to do that I will select this band deformer and in angle I will increase angle just a little bit and let's preview yeah now much better uh, okay everything looks super cool uh, next thing I want to do here is select this plane right click other and vertex map let's use fields and we can use this holder select uh, this holder and make it smaller for example like this and why I'm doing this I want to make this area more stiff than the rest of the cloth uh, to prevent any intersection here or uh, sometimes cloth can go above this object so I want to have more controls over this part of the cloth so I will use hold uh, let's make radius much smaller and in remapping we need to use invert okay now we need to adjust one more time uh, radius for example like this and now if we go back to cloth mix animation with beam and drag and drop our vertex map and influence we can make it for example 10 it shouldn't be like super high value it's just a small adjustment that will help us to uh, keep everything more smooth yeah everything looks super cool all right so we've done one side of our cloth let's create another one and to do that i will select everything here make all g let's call it a side let's go on the first on zero frame just duplicate this one and let's call it b side here i will tweak this uh, corner object move it on the side for example like this and in this cloner i will enable our first cube and disable the second one okay for example like this and then let's select this holder move it here uh, then we need to select this band deformer and move it on the left side as well and we need to change angle to minus for example like this and instead of angle minus 27 let's make it 27 so okay minus 27 okay yeah let's keep this angle so two pieces will go into opposite way and then in the plane i will i will simply drag and drop on the left side like so and let's go to connection Let's go to connector and we need to change any value here to update these points. Every time you do any adjustments with this plane, for example, increase amount of uh, polygons or something like this, make sure you go to connection and adjust any settings here to prevent uh, weird behavior. For example, like this. And let's hit play. Yeah, everything looks cool the only problem that this goes way too far back and probably i need to reduce amount of turbulence maybe one 
All right, everything looks super nice. I really like this result. So then you can play with your camera, find the perfect angle. And probably we can also add this uh, puller. I know how it's called, this metal thing. So simply I will create like simple cube, two by two by two. Let's move it here. Let's make it wider, for example, like this. And yeah, of course I'm doing this like in a super basic and super simple way, but you got the idea. Let's go on the first frame and place it here. Set first keyframe, let's go to 100. Let's place it here. And let's go to 200. And I will copy this. Oops. And I will copy this keyframe simply hit control and drag and drop on the right side. And let's preview. Yeah, pretty nice result. Everything looks super cool. One thing maybe I will place these two band deformers a little bit lower at the first frame, for example, like so, and update keyframes. And now everything should look more smooth, yeah. All right, so this is basic setup, and as you can see, everything works super cool. And then if you have some time, you can uh, model this uh, chain, this uh, teeth by yourself. But for now, I think you got the idea, and yeah, everything works super nice. All right, that's it. We achieved pretty cool result. And as you can see, everything works smooth. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about this uh, animation, about this technique. And see you guys next time. Peace. Mm.